And then Sultan of Sokoto, Sa'ad Abubakar, wants adherents of the two major religions in Nigeria to desist from imposing their beliefs on other Nigerians. The Sultan made a call at the second national summit on peaceful coexistence and national building organized by the Da'awa Coordination Council of Nigeria in just the Plateau State Capital. Correspondent Ufan Abank reports. Nigeria's constitution has defined the country as a secular state. However, mutual suspicion between followers of Christianity and Islam is threatening religious harmony in the country. That is why the Sultan of Sokoto is insisting on punishment for those who want to use religion to exploit our fault lines. It's not possible for anybody, any leader, to either Islamize or Christianize Nigeria. But we still have leaders who use their privileged positions either in churches, in mosques and other preaching grounds and say so many bad things about this. So many brought this issue. And nothing is done to them. And that's the biggest problem. Radicalization and weaponization of religion, the guest speaker at this event says, can destroy the very existence of Nigeria. The issue there is that there is a deliberate radicalization of religion, which we have all come and decided to live with it. Unless we remove those elements, we are not likely going to coexist. For his part, the Plata State Governor is making a passionate appeal to religious, traditional and political leaders to avoid inciting comments that are capable of dividing the country. Let us preach love and tolerance and not hatred. Through love, we can live together. The peace summit conceded with the inaugural commemoration of the Plata State Forgiveness and Reconciliation Day, which took place at the Garden of Forgiveness in Jos. As we mark the second annual Forgiveness Day, we are conscious of the efforts that have been put into, put into ensure that our people live in peace and harmony, as well as find a, nar a new narrative that does not prevent, that does not only prevent conflict, but also encourage dialogue and reconciliation. It is the belief of the participants at this summit to have their recommendations taken and implemented for sustainable peace. From Joss, the Plata State Capital, Mfonobong, STV News.